Hi guys, this is Kyle from PC Tech Gear. Today I'm going to show you how to get a better messaging application from Cydia. Now with this stock messaging application by Apple, it's very bland and basic. Like It's good for an, a normal user, but if you want more features, um, there's another one on Cydia called Byte SMS, and I'm going to show you how to get it for free. So in here you can compose messages, you can look at messages, but what happens is when you get a message in an app, you have to go into the application to read it. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. First, we're going to go to Cydia. We're going to, go to manage sources. Now, if you don't already, add the iHacks repo source. Now, I'll put it in the description. I already have it. It's iHacksRepo.com forward slash. Now we're going to go to search. I'm going to type in Byte SMS. And we'll do the iHacks Repo one. And we're going to click install. Confirm. Alright, now we're just going to respring. Alright, so first thing you'll notice on mine is because I've already had it installed, so it's already hidden the stock messaging application. I'm going to show you how to change the icon in Byte SMS. Alright, first I'm going to open up Byte SMS. Yours will be a pink icon, and you're going to go to settings. And then we're going to go down to more stuff. And then where it says application icon, we're going to select. If you want to make it look as stock as possible, you can select the Apple Messages icon. But if you want the old Byte SMS one, just keep it like that. Um, you can also, if you don't like the stock messaging app at all, you can hide it. Compose straight from your notification center. Alright, you can quick prepare a straight from your notification center. And you can do options like add smileys straight in instead of going into the keyboard. You can add photos. You can call from from the messaging thing. And if you want, you can tap the status bar and show your previous conversation. Tap it again. Or you can click open and just open up the, the app to see your conversation. What you can also do is you can actually silence notifications for certain contacts. So say I didn't want to hear notifications from Telstra, I could hold the icon and name and then a little a little thing will pop up as you can see right near the name it will go away. So that's a pretty unique feature if you don't want to be annoyed by someone. It won't even come up up at the top. You can also... Change all these settings, like passcode lock, I don't really worry about that. But yeah, you can do a lot of things like templates. Um, I'm not sure what this override settings is, but if you can figure, if you know what it is, put it in the comments. Uh, I'd like to know. So yeah, that's Byte SMS. And you can be in an app, compose a message, you can be in an app and read messages and reply. It's just so much better. I don't know why Apple don't do this by stock because seriously, it's freaking great. Alright, this has been Kyle from PC Tech Gear. Um, rate, comment, subscribe and have a nice day.